So what are the things that perhaps we can do in our kitchens, in our hospitals, in our skilled nursing facilities, perhaps even, you know, for our patients at home as well? As a, when we have to, to put these dietary modifications into place, when we, you know, bring the texture down, we bring the flavor intensity down, we have to really think about what can we add to enhance the flavor, to amplify the flavor. Maybe that's going to be a flavor enhancer. Maybe it's going to be, you know, salt or pepper or other spices, but we have to think about other things that we can add to enhance the flavor. Perhaps there's a role uh, for some of those aroma enhancements uh, that we looked at, you know, the things that are starting to happen in the fine dining area to start to incorporate some of those interventions in our hospital uh, kitchens, in our skilled nursing facility dining rooms. I think we also have to be aware of the changes in sensory specific satiety that happen as we get older and make sure that we are providing as much variety in the diet of our elderly subjects as possible. Lots of options in terms of taste, lots of options in terms of texture to whatever extent we can. And then certainly we have to think about how the food looks. You know, we saw that vision was important in terms of, um, helping patients identify the anticipatory information that helps them to self-feed, that helps them to manage the food intraorally, that helps them to protect their airway. And so we have to think about what kind of visual information our clients are getting on that tray that comes from our more industrialized kitchens.